Hi everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Thursday, July 11. Democrats in the Senate say their Republican colleagues are abusing the filibuster rule and they're moving to change the rule. Majority Leader Harry Reid said GOP members have created a disturbing trend of blocking or delaying President Obama's appointees by filibustering. He says it's happening when the qualifications of those nominees is not in doubt. Reid and fellow Democrats are planning rule changes that would streamline the confirmation process for executive and possibly judicial appointments to require simple majorities. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell is crying foul, saying the Democrats are tinkering with an historical precedent, and if they change it, they'll live to regret it. Elsewhere in the Senate, what was described as a tentative deal was reached on student loan interest rates. A bipartisan group of senators hammered out a plan to tie student loan rates to the interest on Treasury notes. That would mean lower rates for now, but could mean future rates could go higher than the 6.8 percent that's now the law. That rate doubled from 3.4 percent July 1st. Earlier this week, a move to temporarily cut the rates in half as a stopgap measure failed. Opponents of that move said they wanted a long-term fix. Over in the House, members were getting close to a vote on a new farm bill. A previous version failed in June. The new tipping point came when members agreed to take the food stamp program out of the measure. The White House is already criticizing the new package, saying it does not contain enough commodity and crop insurance reform and does not invest enough in renewable energy. And in Egypt, there was a show of support for the military today from the United States. America said it will donate four fighter jets to Egypt's army. The military there is struggling to maintain order while officials plan new elections and a new Egyptian constitution. The military ousted Mohamed Morsi as president last week. In addition to the jets, the White House has also refused to suspend about $1.5 billion in other scheduled aid, saying it's reviewing the political situation in Egypt. Other Arab countries have approved about $12 billion in aid for the new government there. That's your political news roundup for Thursday, July 11th. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for the latest political, economic, and stock market news all day long.